Hi guys, um, this is the wrap up to our week one, chapter one. Um, just wanted to say that I added a lot to the discussion this week with comments. I don't typically add as much as I did this week, but I was kind of throwing some things out there at you guys to get you guys thinking and adding to the discussion. I do read them um, almost daily and I will post from time to time, but probably not as much as you saw this week. Um, just wanted to remind you all of the due dates um, so that you don't have late assignments. You will notice that in week one I did add an extra credit opportunity, so check that out. And it is um, related to some of the posts that I put in and um, then connecting that back to introspection. So introspection, is it flawed? Sure it's flawed. Um, it's flawed by all kinds of things. Our personal history, if somebody has been an, a, a victim of abuse or trauma, if you've received too much hollow praise, that might inflate your self-confidence and your ego and may impact how you view yourself. Um, on the flip side, if you don't have much self-esteem, you might second-guess yourself a lot, and that in turn will also impact your introspective. So is it valuable? Of course it's valuable, because even though it's flawed, we have to think about who we are and what we do and how we think about things. Because if we don't, we don't have an opportunity to grow and change. Um, we don't have an opportunity to think about why we think about something one way and somebody else thinks about it in a different way. So is it used as much as it was used back in the heyday of psychology? Probably not as much, but it is definitely useful even with the flaws. Alright, check out the video for week two introduction in week two. Bye!